Kel Cat back with another video, man. Man. I tell you, man. <clears throat> Validation. Validation feels good than a motherfucker. Let me tell you. It feels good to be handsome again. But I know that my handsomeness is not going to last forever. So I'm going to enjoy it while it lasts. Tonight, I was going to go drink and shit, man. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to go drink real quick. I'm going to go get some validation from the bar and stuff. But I'm like, nah. Nope, nope, nope. Ever since I quit alcohol, I've been getting the hardest choose, choosing signals that I have ever gotten before in my life. I'm loving this choosing shit, man. You know, validation coming from women feels good. Let me tell you that it feels good, man. I was deprived. I was deprived from validation for like years, man. You know, don't, don't, don't get me wrong. When I lost weight the first time, I was getting choosing signals, but I moved in with my girlfriend, so I wasn't really out there like that. You know what I'm saying? But, man, I was going to go to the bar tonight. I was like, fuck it. <laughs> Let me go make out with some chicks and stuff like that. And I'm like, nah. I'll, I'll, I'll start drinking. I'll lose money. You know what I'm saying? You know, right now it's winter, so I want to stay away from bars and stuff, man. Bars, uh, bars are germy and shit. That's how you get sick. You know what I mean? I, I told myself I would quit drinking, and I was like, that's what I'm going to do, man. That's what I'm going to do. Let's quit drinking. Today I had, like, one meal. Um, I went to Pan Express, got some rice, steak, chicken, you know, some shrimp. You know what I'm saying? Just for my my uh, my one meal today, and I you know I had some teriyaki chicken. You know, uh, yesterday that chick that gave me validation, man, dude, I'm still feeling good from that shit to, to, to this day today. I'm still feeling good. It's like, you know, <coughs> something about a check. You know, this, it makes you feel good when you are desired. And I understand, you know, what it is not to be desired. You know, I know what it, I know what it feels like to, like, be ignored and looked down upon. You know, I know what it's like to be ugly. And I know what, what it's like to be good looking. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of you guys were born with bad genetics and you can't help that, man. You know, but what it what will help if you lift weights and get into the gym, that'll help you a whole lot. Now you might have like like uh, bad facial features, but uh, some six pack abs and you know, body all, all in check. That shit right there, man. Shh. That'll bring you up a notch, man. I know guys who were really, really in shape back when I was doing martial arts. My friend Jimmy. I told you guys about him, right? He was an ugly motherfucker, man. But he was in shape, though. That nigga had his body was in shape. He had six-pack abs, chest. You know, he, he was short, though. He was like five, six. You know what I'm saying? But he got girlfriends though. You know what I'm saying? He was a he was a beast, man. He was good at his martial art. You know what I'm saying? He did things that a lot of bigger dudes that you know that were scared to I mean, he did things that bigger dudes would be scared to do. You know what I mean? He had a heart of a lion when he was uh in martial arts and stuff. And I used to spar with him and shit. <laughs> But, um, like I said, validation coming from women, it makes you feel good. And it's like a ripple effect, too. You're like, you know what I mean? Like, 
you'll get validation from a chick that you like or whatever, and you'll be feeling good all the way that day, all the way into the next day. I'm going to get out of here, man. I'm heading back to San Jose. I came over to this side, man, because I'm came over to Wanna Creek because I made more money out here, but right now, I'm going to go work out in San Jose. And I'm going to work in San Jose tomorrow, so I'm going to rent a hotel tonight and stay out there in San Jose. I got the hookup on a, on a hotel out there, so I'm spending only 60 bucks a night. I know one of the managers out there we work out at the gym. I met the manager at the gym and shit. I taught him how to work out, you know. So one day I was checking in for um, checking in, you know, to uh, run out of the room. And he was like, "Hey, didn't I see you at uh, the gym and shit? And you he was teaching me how to burn more calories on the treadmill." I said, oh yeah, I remember you, man. How you doing? He was a, he's a manager at, at one of the hotels over there at Milpitas. So he gives me discounts every time I go up there. So, But, dude, it feels good, man. I feel sorry for some of the guys who are very unattractive or they got like bad genetics and they, they can't help it. You know what I'm saying? But what you can help is your brain. And what you, you know, what you can help is, uh, is your, your working out habits, man. A lot of you guys don't want to work out, but how else are you going to get women, man? How else are you going to get laid? You don't have to be in a relationship. You don't have to be married. All you have to be is just laid. You know what I'm saying? Keep your dick wet. At least, you know, I was looking at a incel video with uh, heed and proceed, right? So, they were telling him that he needed to lose weight. He ignored the fact that he needed to lose weight. He was like, I don't feel like I need to do that, man. I said, well, if you lose the weight, man, you'll look more attractive. See, thing is, I think a lot of you guys are coping with that food, man. And I know that food is dangerous, you know. I, I, I mean, lately, Kel Cat been picking up, picking up some weight. I gained seven pounds out of nowhere. I didn't know where that seven pounds came from. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> <coughs> Nigga, I can't even eat a cupcake without blowing up. You know what I'm saying? But he didn't uh, proceed, man. You need to lose the weight. I was just like he didn't proceed. Couldn't get no pussy, man. And I was getting old pussy, though. Ugh. That's that uh, first level or the second level uh, incel, man, where you getting sloppy seconds, you know? <laughs> but um, gotta lose the weight it'll make you look more attractive and you'll start getting laid you know Kel Cat looking handsome nowadays man females looking at me and shit I was doing doing a uh, DoorDash and chicks give me a little bit more man now that I'm a muscular and I'm buff and shit and I'm lean <clears throat> They give me a little bit more on my plate. They're more attentive to me. You know what I mean? It, it, it's a lot better than what it was before when I was overweight, man. And I had that big ass afro. They give me more attention, you know? Just gotta know that um, good things to come when you work hard, man. See, some of you guys 
probably probably been like all overweight your whole entire life and you don't know what it feels like to be validated and let me tell you being validated by women it makes you feel great it makes you feel like you're floating on air man it, it's a high you know what I'm saying it's like smoking a blunt for the first time you know what I'm saying you, you, be, you be high for two days after that now, that, you, know, you know, when you get rejected, it's like, fuck, that hurts. You know what I'm saying? But then, next day, you'll be okay. Some chick will give you validation or, or choose a signal and you'll be okay. You know what I'm saying? I was going to go hang out tonight, man. I've been all working. No play, man. I went out with my nephew. I, I played with him, though. Me and him hung out. But I've been work, work, work. Work, work, work. Focus on the future. I hella want to go to a bar right now and get some validation, man. I end up making out with chicks, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, I don't like eating in front of you guys. I know a lot of you guys don't get laid. I know a lot of you guys are incel. And... I don't like telling all of you, all of my fucking uh, business too much. Sometimes I can't help it, but there's a lot of sexual encounters that I ain't even told you guys about, and I don't feel like telling you guys about it because I'm basically eating in front of lions and shit. You don't eat steak in front of a lion, a wild, hungry lion and shit. You know? I know a lot of you guys don't get laid. You guys got to develop some heart. Some courage, man. If you got bad facial feature, make up for it, man. A lot of these chicks will, like, they will fucking make up or they will look, they will overlook the fact that you got ugly face because you got a nice body. You know what I'm saying? They'll overlook that shit. I got bad, like, like, uh, I got some flaws, I mean. I got, like, a little thing, a little brown spot in my eye that from, uh, when I was doing some stupid stuff as a, as a child. I got, uh, I got a little space in between my teeth. I got a little one space right here. On the bottom, on my bottom two, uh, on my bottom row teeth. You know what I'm saying? I'm under six feet tall. But my six pack and my nice eyes and stuff like that. And and my 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 nice lips as they as they say. That's what I'm known for. That's what these chicks say. Oh you can you got soft lips. Cause you know I kiss them or whatever while I'm at a when I was at the bar. I was going to the bar and shit. I used to kiss them. And then once our fucking lips come unglued, she'll say, oh, you got some soft lips. I'll be like, oh, thank you. You got some soft lips too. And we'll continue kissing and shit. Yeah. But they'll overlook the fact that you got bad facial features if your body's in check. Now, Will you get the chop, the cream of the crop, bitches? No. But at least you'll be getting laid, man. You know what I mean? At least you'll be getting laid. And I feel like I'm sometimes talking to a brick wall. How many niggas been on your purpose since I've been on my purpose? How, how many niggas been in the gym since I've been in the gym? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? You want to get laid, man. You want to get laid. You want to you want to attract women. Stop fucking hating women so much to the point where like you don't want to better yourself for them. 
you know, that was me, man, I hated women so much back when I was an incel that I did not want to go to the gym hard, um, I didn't want to give up the junk food, you know what I'm saying, I didn't want to, like, dress better, you know what I'm saying, I was just saying, fuck that, fuck these bitches, but now, I'm getting validation, choosing signals, man, it feels good, man, it feels good when that chick was looking at me, looking at me in the eyes yesterday, man, God, I'm still in La La Land, dude, you know, because, you know, a lot of you motherfuckers, they, you know, they think that because you're getting validation and you're getting choosing signals from chicks, that you're a simp or something like that. No. It just means that you're good looking, man. Kill Cat's good looking, man. If you look at my eyes, I'm very easy to look at. You know what I'm saying? Very easy to look at. Chicks look at me all the time. I'm gonna work out tonight. I gotta get in that gym. It's getting cold out here, y'all. I'm gonna turn on the heater for a little bit. Yeah, man, it feels good. See, the thing is, when I talk about my validation and uh and my interactions with women, I get low uh views. Low likes? What are you niggas hating on something like that? <laughs> you hating because I'm getting validation and I'm getting attention from women? Kelka is a good looking dude, yo. I consider myself as a seven in looks. I left the alcohol alone and my shit went up. My looks went up by 20%. I hella wanted me to drink. I wanted to drink tonight too, man. I wanted to go out and get some validation from women and fucking flirt and talk and, but I'm like, nah, I don't go back into the same mode I was in, man. You know? And plus it's winter. If I go fucking drink a whole lot during the winter, I'll be sick a whole lot. That's one thing about drinking. It'll break, it'll break down your immune system, you know? Make you more vulnerable, make you more uh, vulnerable to colds and shit. You know, but you gotta stay on your fucking purpose, stay on your grind. You know, I I, I pass by in cell channels all the time, and I see the pain and agony that these guys are going through. Your parents wasn't thinking. I told you niggas this before. Your parents wasn't thinking. They were just fucking. We're going to have a child. We don't care about the genetics. I don't, you know, your dad was like, I don't give a fuck about bettering myself so I can find a better looking woman. Fuck that shit. You know? So a lot of you guys are screwed, man. But you can unscrew yourself if you're around my height. You know, and if you get in that gym, <coughs> yeah, I'm not going to drink at all tonight. I've been fighting a cold myself, man, lately. You know? But let me tell you, man, I have my share of himself, man. What the fuck? Text me, man. I don't want to get distracted tonight. I need to go work out and go to sleep. That's it. 
That's it, man. I hella wanted to go drink, man. I, I came this close to saying, fuck it. I'm going to go have a drink real quick. But nope. Got to stay on the path, man. You know? I remember motherfuckers called me ugly and shit, man, when I was in Intel. You one ugly motherfucker. That's one of you guys left a comment saying that shit. Look at me now. All handsome and shit. Getting validation left and right. Yeah, man, like, back to what I was saying about validation. And, I mean, fuck, dude, what can I say? It's on the... I'm on the other side of the fence. I know a lot of you guys ain't gonna like this video. You might even thumb it down. But I can say that my mom and dad didn't do that bad at all. They didn't do bad at all. My dad used to tell me when I was younger, he used to say, man, I hooked your ass up, boy. I hooked your ass up. You got nice hair. You got some curls for the girls. You know. He used to tell me all the time. He like, man, I wasn't gonna sleep with no any old thing, man. I, I hooked your ass up. And I, you know, and to this day, I be like, thank you, Dad. Thank you, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, you, you did. I'm not no no Tyrone though, you know, but I do pull in women when I'm in shape and my body fat percentage is low. You know what I mean? What women know like who's good looking and who's ugly, man. That's why I always say Society is the one that determines the standard of looks. Did that come out right? I think it did. Society is the one who says who's good looking, who's not. You know, mainly women. The first thing they do is look at your face. That's the first thing they do. And if they like what they see, they'll keep looking. They'll keep eyeing you. I get eyes from women all the time now. You know what I mean? I get eyes from women all the time. Some people say, well, man, you seeking dollar, you seeking validation from women and shit like that. Oh, oh hell yeah, dude, why not? If you're good looking enough, see, the thing is that, that that'll come from an ugly motherfucker, man. Only an ugly motherfucker would say that. If you was good looking, you wouldn't be tripping, dude. You know what I'm saying? You would not be tripping. I've been good looking on and off all my life. Seriously. I've been good looking on and off. So anyway, man, I, I'm out of gas for this video. You guys have a good day. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like and a comment. Click the notification bell button so you'll never ever miss another video from me. I tell you, man, it, it's it feels good to be good looking again. It does. It's like you know, I I deal with rejection still, man. But 
Them shoes and signals come in. Have a good night.